What's up design family and welcome to another episode of Fit Design TV. On today's episode, we have a quick fire episode. I'll take you guys through the top 10 articles of clothing for men's sports for design and I'll give you guys my top fabric recs for each. Hey guys and welcome to Fit Design TV. So glad to have you here. On this channel, we discuss all things sports fashion, graphic design, manufacturing and technology. We'll discuss key topics, answer pressing questions and provide actionable steps on starting your own product line. If you're interested in any of the above topics, stick around, you're in for a good one. I'll be running you through the top recommendations for these 10 items in six minutes or less. Timer starts now. First up, we have our men's performance shirt. Whenever it comes to performance, we wanna make sure that we're including polyester in the mix. Polyester is great at wicking away sweat. We've done a separate video on polyester and why we highly recommend it. Spandex, you're gonna notice spandex come up time and time again. Why spandex? 10% spandex in a garment adds up to two times stretch. When you stretch a garment, you wanna make sure that it rebounces back. That's what spandex is gonna allow. And when you have a tightly fitted garment, making sure that spandex with polyester is gonna be a key element or key ingredients in creating a great performance shirt. I'd recommend something around 88% polyester, 12% spandex at around a 200 GSM. Something that's not too thick, not too thin. Number two, we'll be looking at our short sleeve lifestyle t-shirt. When it comes to our lifestyle sh shirt versus our performance shirt, you wanna go with something with more of a cotton touch and feel, right? Cotton is very familiar, and when it comes to lifestyle and going out in a shirt, it's not necessarily appropriate to be wearing a silky smooth, shiny polyester t-shirt. That's why cotton is gonna be your best friend for items that are more geared towards a wider market and a more casual market. A great contender that we always use and that's seen time and time again is a cotton spandex blend. I've already explained spandex, you know cotton well enough, no need to get into more detail. 95% cotton, 5% spandex, around 180 to 200, 220 GSM is great. If you wanna go a bit thicker, 220 GSM is the upper limit, something a bit thinner, 160, 180. I wouldn't go anything lower than 160, anything lower is just gonna get really flimsy and cheap. Number three, we'll be looking at joggers. Joggers come in a variety of shapes and sizes, here, we're looking at a tapered athletic jogger. A great blend will be something with cotton, polyester, and spandex. Those three ingredients combined are gonna give you the necessary profile that you want in a great jogger. The cotton is gonna give you a familiar touch and warmth. Polyester is gonna give you that robustness and that sweat wicking ability. And then lastly, spandex is gonna give you that stretch that you need, especially with a tapered and fitted jogger. I'd recommend something around the lines of 85% cotton, 10% polyester to add that and then lastly, 5% spandex, around a 280, 290 GSM blend that's going to do amazing things when it comes to creating a great fitted pair of joggers. When it comes to the inner finish, don't go for a brushed fleece. Although it's a super premium finish, I would definitely recommend more of an interlock finish on a tapered jogger. If you're gonna go for something that's more oversized, yes, you can consider brushed fleece, and we'll consider brushed fleece in the next category, which is our pullover hoodie. Pullover hoodie is gonna be cotton polyester. Both those things combined create magic. When it comes to cotton, we've discussed it's a soft, very familiar touch. And when it comes to polyester, robustness and an overall sweat wicking ability. When it comes to a pullover hoodie, the inside is where we spend most of the time. Obviously it's a hoodie. At the same time, we wanna make sure that we have something that's rubbing against our skin, it's soft, and that's going to be a brushed fleece inner finish. I'd recommend something around 300 to 320 GSM in terms of weight. And when it comes to the blend, I'll look at a 60% cotton, 40% polyester. I typically like to maintain more cotton than polyester just so that the hoodie doesn't get too shiny and it still has that casual and that very familiar touch and feel to it. We'll be looking next at our shorts. Shorts are great and they come in a variety of different aesthetics. I definitely look at a woven nylon spandex material for shorts, especially running shorts. That woven material is gonna give it a dry fit feel. We've done a video on, on woven versus knitted. Just know that woven feels more like paper in that sense, it has like that scratchy dry fit feel and it's going to be great at working sweat away and then it's also going to do a great job at let's just say holding a very specific structure woven materials drape very differently than knitted materials they have more of a technical look and feel 88 percent nylon 12 percent spandex at around 140 150 gsm is going to be great and it's something that you definitely won't regret choosing if you guys haven't ever gone for a woven pair of shorts know that it's definitely more superior in my opinion to a knitted pair of shorts. We'll look next at compression leggings. Compression leggings, polyester, spandex, around a 78% polyester, 22% spandex. You want more spandex in there just because you have 
let's just say a tighter fit and more spandex is gonna allow it to stretch. Compression by nature is a lot more fitted and it's a kind of fit that you wanna make sure that you can conform to your body shape. That's why adding more spandex is gonna be key. A, in terms of thickness, you're gonna want something that's around uh, 230, 240 GSM. Next, we have our tank top. Tank top can feature either a cotton spandex blend or a polyester spandex blend, depending on the specifics. If you're going for more of a casual tank, cotton spandex, same as the casual tee. If you're going for more of a performance shirt, 88% poly, 12% spandex, 200 GSM, like our performance seat. Next, we'll be looking at our technical jacket. Technical jacket has two layers, outer layer, woven material, make sure it's very resistant against water, 100% nylon or 100% polyester at 100D. 100D represents the weave. And then on the inside, you either want a hex mesh or a net mesh. Because this is a layered garment, making sure to include both those layers is going to be key just in order to maintain the integrity and the actual structure of the technical jacket garment that you're going for. If you have a single layer, it's not going to look right. Next, we'll be looking at our long sleeve performance tee. Again, long sleeve performance tee, go for either a polyester spandex or a nylon spandex blend in here. Nylon spandex is great just because it's going to be a bit more breathable and ultimately it's going to be a bit more lightweight than your polyester. Here, we can include something more like a nylon spandex blend just because you Let's just say it's a long sleeve. With long sleeves, I typically like to use garments or fabrics that are a bit more breathable and more lightweight. They're just more comfortable long-term and they have more seasonality to them. Uh, you can wear them more in spring, fall, and winter as opposed to a long sleeve that's made out of thicker material like a cotton spandex or a polyester spandex that you can only wear during winter seasons or during fall seasons. So it's just gonna have more variety to it. And next, we'll be looking at our long sleeve lifestyle tee. Long sleeve lifestyle tee, again, different than our long sleeve performance tee. Use cotton spandex. Yes, we've already mentioned it, but something different. Pima cotton spandex. Pima cotton fibers are a lot longer and they're a lot smoother than regular cotton fibers. They're also more durable and they're more premium. Yes, they're more expensive, but you're going to be getting a superior product. Something around 95% Pima cotton, 5% spandex, and then around a 220, 200 to 220 GSM blend is going to be key. You can either go for that or a viscose spandex blend. My only issue with viscose is it's a lot more prone to piling over time, which can be an indicator of a cheap quality product. So that's pretty much it. That's a wrap, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let us know what rapid fire videos you want to see next. Uh, we're planning on doing a woman's one, so hopefully you guys have learned a ton. Thank you guys so much for tuning into Fit Design TV. Until next time, stay awesome.